love you dearly, Skulk. And in fact, there are a lot of people who love you dearly. Uh, one or two, perhaps not in Durban, but generally <laughs> who, uh, who love you dearly. And in fact, we were able to catch up with a couple of people who just underscored what an important part of the South African rugby heritage you actually are. Yeah, I suppose uh, growing up, being a youngster playing rugby, especially at the times of mini rugby, probably under nine, tens, uh, I always had a, a poster of him on, on the wall of Skulk Brits. You know, I think he was always my biggest hero. So, yeah, it has been for a long time. And uh, even now that I've retired, he's, he's still my, re my hero. Now that you mentioned Skulk Brits, um, it reminds you now, he was one of our senior players at a time when I was still playing. Yeah, the thing about uh, Skulk Brits, you know, there's that famous story when, when Jan van Riebeek arrived in, in South Africa and, and he saw, you know, Skulk on the beach just, uh, you know, playing around and, and kicking the ball around, um, practicing his, 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 uh, his line-out throwing. So he's been around for quite a while and he brings that experience, uh, you know, uses a hell of a lot of strapping, um, never sees his family, his kids, his wife. Um, I do tend to just help around every now and then with that. But, uh, yeah, he's been around for so long. Scary. <laughs> and <Mr. Trump. laughs> and <Mr. Trump>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, uh, it leads to uh, once all the frivolities away there to the question that so many people ask. You're 37, you're almost 38, you're playing rugby as well as you ever have. How have you managed to sustain this career and keep it up to the level which you have? Well, Dan, in rugby there's a lot of big guys. I'm one of the smaller guys and try just to evade contact. <laughs> you know, I'm, I am a hooker, so I try to get away from it. Um, but, I mean, I've, I've been blessed with a lot of great players to play with. I give them the ball most of the time and then just enjoy it. <laughs> and enjoyment is fundamental to what you've done in your career, both in terms of what we've got from watching you, but also when you play, there's always a smile on your face. There's always a real sense that you're doing something much like Rusty that you absolutely love. Yeah, well, the plan, myself and Aaron Zubair finished our studies and we said, let's play just rugby for one more year and then do articles. And um, well, it's been a couple of years since then. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, is you blessed them to play this amazing game with amazing people, and um, why not enjoy it? I've never, when I picked up a ball when I was six or seven, sort of playing rugby, it was never for the money or for the crowd. It was actually just to run uh, around like the Euros you've got. And um, I still tried to do that, although <laughs> they just gave me a lot of grief, but yes. <laughs>